We're at Rancho Cotati High School for North Bay League Redwood Girls Basketball and one of the favorites in league play, Rancho Cotati hosting L.C. Allen. This will be the final season in the old Rancho Gym as they get ready for the new arena in the L.C. Allen Lobos. Hoping to have a good game here tonight on the road. We go to the first quarter action, and it's Viviana Lopez for L.C. Allen who gets the pass to Carolee Vasquez. She hits from the right corner just inside the three-point stripe to make it 3-2. to two. Rancho by one, but then here's the steal by Keone Neal. Neal with a nice spin, flips it up and in as Rancho goes on a 12-0 run. Here's a nice pass from Katie Schiebold to McKenna Minton-Porter, who scores inside for Rancho Katati as the run continues. Now here's Biviana Lopez trying to get inside. She does. She's fouled, goes off the glass, and good. Nice basket right there as Elsie Allen tries to make things interesting, but back on the attack. Inside it goes Kiara Johnson, and she scores to make it 21-5. And then the outside shot by Jessica Phillips. She would hit two in a row for Rancho Katati. Now here's Elsie Allen hustling after the loose ball. It's an offensive rebound. Into the corner it goes to Biviana Lopez, and she gets the friendly roll on the road. Nice basket there. Now it's Tia Fronda who gets the pass on the right side for Rancho Katati, and she goes off the glass. She would actually score a couple times in a row as the first quarter comes to an end, and the Rancho crowd is fired up. Scary moment. Referee Bill Furbush with a medical condition. Paramedics would come. He would be rushed to Memorial Hospital, and he was released later last night. We wish him all the best as he recovers from that. Here's Rancho Katati on the attack now as it's Leslie Baharin with the basket there to make it a 20 Eight point lead. Now the steal by Keone Neal, and she lays it up nicely with the left hand. Neal, just a freshman for Rancho Katati. Another steal now for the Cougars. They're running the floor, and it's McKinnon Minton Porter with a nice basket in transition as she goes off the glass. Now it's Mitra McBaron. Nice basket as Rancho Katati running the floor nicely, showing what they can do. Here's Alyssa Smith now with an offensive rebound for the Lobos, and she puts it back up in with the left hand. Nice shot, Alyssa. Now it's Carolee Vasquez with not one, but two offensive rebounds, and she puts it in off the glass to make it 51 to 17 at the intermission. We go to the third quarter action. We'll have a running clock in the second half, and it's Keone Neal showing some range as she hits the three. Nice basket there. Now the pass inside. From Neal to Kiara Johnson, and she goes off the glass and in. Johnson, the 6'1 senior, and Coach Mario Newton is happy with his Cougar play. Here's some nice ball movement now by Elsie Allen, and it's Carolee Vasquez who gets the basket inside for the Lobos, heading to the final eight minutes. Inside it goes to Minton Porter. She scores for Rancho Katati. Now it's Johnson on a fast break, and Kiara Johnson lays it in nicely. Now it's Neal bringing it up the floor. She gets it over to Johnson again. Great pass. No look, left-handed pass inside. To top off the night for Rancho Katati, it is Sarah Padoka who takes this one on the left wing, and she bangs it home. Great shot, Sarah. This one's a final, 76-28. The Rancho Katati Cougars taking care of business in the North Bay League Redwood Division on YSN365.com.